I'm on Game Grumps. You, you know what it's just like? What? You know how dads love talking about, like, death and destruction and war and pestilence? What the f*** are you talking about? Do, do you know, you haven't noticed that? that no. like Men of a certain age are like, well, World War II was a... Blah, 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 blah. No? No. Y yes. All right. Yeah. I... That's a thing. That's a real thing. Okay. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Gamers. Welcome to uh, Legend of Zelda. What is this, 16? I don't know. Dang. Dang. It's Life. 16 episodes of this. Life doesn't have meaning anymore. Aaron, uh, quit changing the subject. <laughs> what do you mean? Because <laughs> uh, life doesn't mean anything. <laughs> He's stroking out! <laughs> <laughs> you know what this looks like? Ah, oh, it went away! What, what, what was it? What did it look like? It doesn't matter, because you can't see it anymore. Well, I mean, someone will be able to, like, click on their YouTube video back it, five seconds. It looked like uh -huh. when you get, when you are trying to do something aesthetic, mm -hmm. and you add, like, a little coffee stain on a piece of paper. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, to give it, like, that lifelike, <laughs> fresh off the desk feel. Yeah. I getcha. Dude, this is so easy. Why do they even? Why do they even challenge me with this? This is making me feel like such an easy guy. Oh, very this clever. Is so easy. Don't even. Don't even ask me how to do puzzles anymore, because it's just like, it's beneath me. <laughs> wow, Aaron. You seeing this right now? This is this is this is like when you put a penny in like the little donation thing at a museum yeah. and you watch it go around and you're like almost <laughs> Oh man, how's your day dude? <laughs> really really making you wait for it. All right. Excellent. Scabadabadabadabab. Oh, you did great. Thanks. Uh, it was pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And I'm guessing you just ride this one up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. What? There it yeah, is. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I gotta do this. And then recall it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Or no, no. I wanna do it this way. Aaron, you're so smart. How's the... Yeah, you've gotta do like three full revolutions. Just like South America. <laughs> <laughs> Three whole revolutions, baby. That should do it. You say that. Well, you just need to get up to that little platform, right? Yeah, but like... I don't know, I wanna... I'm a smart boy. I'm, I'm watching the gears go. Alright, let's go. Let's effing go! Nice. Don't need to do that anymore. Now I just need to put my hand on the green thing and let's go. Let's fucking go, gamers. I don't want to watch this shit anymore. Me and my wife will give you the light. Uh, I want to lay the blessing. We do. We looked at you from across Is the bar. We liked your vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just over it, honey. Are you not into this lifestyle anymore? No, no, it's fine. It's, no, I love uh, it. I love it. I love it. I'm it's go. got a lot going on big right old, now. Look, thing. look, coffee stain. Oh yeah, it does. It does. I see it. Monster tips, moblins. These large carnivores require sizable helpings of meat and fish to sustain their bulky fuck. <laughs> frames. The frames. Frames. Bulky frames. Okay, cool. All I yeah. saw was the F. They really love their glasses. <laughs> their eyeglasses to see. I got it. Their bulky frames. Speaking of bulky frames, uh, we just filmed um, an advertisement for our uh, domestic Game Grumps live tour that's coming up, featuring new characters, Small Dan, and 10% more swole Aaron. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Uh, we filmed on a green screen. I was like, do you think the editor could make me like 30 to 35% smaller? <laughs> and just like not mention it? And Aaron was like, only if I can be 10% more swole. <laughs> well, it wasn't, it wasn't in contrast to, I guess the bigness, yeah, I guess the bigness was the result of that. But I just like, I was standing next to, because it was just me and, in uh, dad, dad. Bot. yep, and uh, because you were shot separately, and and it, there was just something weird about the energy of him like talking, and I'm just there, mm -hmm. so I just started like flexing, 
and it, and it just made me laugh. I was like, this is the stupidest shit. Because it reminded me of this YouTuber I used to watch who used to flex for the camera all the time. Sure. Not like... I wasn't like into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, wa it wasn't for like the, the bank or anything. You know what I mean? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that like, if I was into it, it would be... I would be embarrassed. I'm not. It's fine, Aaron. I just was I, I watched it for different reasons. But not the reasons that you think. <laughs> the articles. But it could be the reasons that you think. Yeah, yeah. Well, Aaron. Anyway, it just- what is the <laughs> it, it made me laugh, and then- and then you had the- the- the tiny thing, and I was like, Oh, yeah. it'd be funny if I was just, like, a little bit bigger. I'm just excited about Small Dan. Yeah. I, like, I, I hope it catches on. Small Dan's gonna look funny. Yeah. Especially because Small Dan is always like, How's it going up there, Aaron? <laughs> and you're like, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big fan awesome. of that dynamic. <laughs> it's because I'm too busy flexing. Yeah, of course. Like, dude, I can't. Shut up. <laughs> look at this bouncy fucking bird. Look at him bouncing around, dude. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's silly. They look like one of the many birds that we have uh, hunted to extinction. Hooray! Like the dodo? Like the dodo and the moa. Oh, he's lost. I think- I think the moa was hunted. <laughs> Got him. Oh no, the meat! It rolled down the hill! Or it disappeared? <laughs> Been having those problems. What the f- With my meat. The fucking bird meat's just gone. Or maybe it didn't drop any. Gimme, 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 gimme. Cause stuff doesn't just like fade away in this game, does it? It doesn't like blink away. I don't know. Like in other games where it's like, oh, there's too many things on the screen, I'm just gonna blink away. <laughs> like fucking Super Nintendo games. It's like, knock it off. <laughs> knock it off! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away. Dragonfly, 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 dragonfly. Gotti! Yup. The MOA went extinct around 1445. The hell's a MOA? They're, they're, they're those, like, those giant, um, birds. Look at him. That's an emu. It's- it's emu-like, but it's a moa. So what's the fucking difference? Why do we need more than one? Well, emus are still around. Moas are extinct. Well, I understand that difference already. <laughs> you made that abundantly clear. So it's a different animal. Right, but what's the difference? It's slight. Well, who it's, cares? Do you really want me to look that up? I don't know, yes. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> Alright. I mean, what, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> the weather? <laughs> Man, it's been really rainy lately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's the difference between emus and moas? Hell yeah. Bro, this is- this is fucking already in like the top ten best Game Grumps episodes N ever. Not mowers! Alright, well. <laughs> mowers? What are mowers? People that mow the lawn, of course. <laughs> uh, is that uh, where I'm headed? That fucking light? I suppose it is. This right. has not been helpful. This is something totally different. Go! I'm Gustin, Dan. Emu, I'm Gustin. Emu stands for electromagnetic unit. MOA stands for minute of angle. I'm like, this is not what I wanted. Are you sure? <laughs> An emu is a large flightless bird native to Australia, while moa is a very large, extinct flightless bird from New Zealand. Oh, so they're like pretty related. Yeah. Oh like... yeah, they're way bigger. Whoa, alright, look oh at that. Oh my yeah. god, let Sweet. me just eat something before I fall to my death. Look at that big ass moa! Okay, sorry, let's put that up on the screen. That's a big dinosaur It's bird. way- it's way bigger than that human lady. Unless that human lady happens to be small. Which they never really talk about. They're like, they just put a person there, but they're never like, is this an exceptionally small I'm assuming person? they're like 6'8", eight, or 5'8". 6'8". 6'8". 5'8". I feel like 5'8's like a real- That'd be the biggest lady I've ever seen! <laughs> yeah, well! Or tallest, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So, moas are cool. I like them. Wait, so which one's the moa? Four? The four. Uh, oh, that's big. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big bird. So why did it go extinct? They're all oh. moas? Oh my god! So was it hunted? Yeah, yeah. To ex oh. Like it was just minding its own business on New Zealand and then Ah Yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought you were implying that it just like died on its own. Oh like, like all of them were just running around like, where are the Moa? We're doing fine, and then they're all like ah! yeah. and just fall over dead. It's like country bear jamboree, but then they all get shot. Yeah. Oh, we're extinct now. Yeah. Cool. Oh hello. 
Hey. Oh god, oh my god! Whoa, oh! whoa, whoa! Are those Gorons? Yeah. Wow, they're weird in this game. They're the same. Are they? I don't remember them being that happy or glowy-eyed. They're- the glowy eyes are new. Okay, that changes everything for me, personally. It's beige. We gotta let you in on something! What's up, beige? Heal. Yep. There's some untrustworthy fellas rolling around the city right now. <laughs> So if you're loaded up on ore, you should probably sell it before you're scammed out of it. <laughs> or what? <laughs> We're good Gorons. We'll take it off your hands for a great price. Uh-oh. I don't know about these guys. <laughs> How about three rupees for all your ore? Whatever ore you got, come on, show us the goods. Fuck no. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Uh-oh, Hill, let's get out of here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Roll position. <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, you almost got dipped there, huh? <laughs> now that Death Mountain's eruptions have stopped and lava's cool, I've been seeing more Hylian travelers. Uh. Which is great, except those two have been swindling travelers by offer to take their ore for next to nothing. After the marbled rock roast started surfacing, Everyone around here's been acting strange! Mm. The marbled rock roast? Yeah, it's the thing they were holding in their hands. Oh, I thought it was like a festival, like a music festival. <laughs> Welcome to the rock roast! One, two, three, four! <laughs> so be mindful of any Gorons who've got marbled rock roasts! Okay. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, let's back it up a second. <laughs> My name is Ramea. Ramella? Is that Ramella? That's what it looks like. I'm a jeweler from Gerudo Town in the southwest of Hyrule. The ore that you know, Boko. <laughs> you know, you know Boko. Boko. That's it. <laughs> Deals in is high quality, so I always come here to replenish my stock. If you're open to it, I'd gladly buy your ore off you for my shop. I'm not a scammer. Yeah. Huh? Two rupees for all your ore. <laughs> well, rude, I'd never rip you off. Except for right now. Well, I guess I did almost get ripped off. You did almost get ripped off, so your spots uh. is boarded. I'm not gonna force you. If you decide you'd like to sell it, then let me know. No pressure, but I'll give you three rupees for all your <laughs> Right now, I'm low on amber. If you sell me a parcel of ten pieces of amber, I'll buy them for a little more than you could sell them for in other shops. Nice. All right, then I'm off to Goron City to get more gem. Bye! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh. Wait, you've got hips for days. <laughs> um, 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 question! Do those hips fly? <laughs> <laughs> Sarkso. Uh, oh, is that- Sarkso is another expression where I'm from. It means thank you. It also means gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Kids these days shorten it to Sark. <laughs> Which uh, is short for just bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was very helpful. I'll buy a word from you anytime. Cause you're a fucking sucker. <laughs> so keep in mind that I'm often looking for different ore at different times. So check in with me every so often to see what I'm looking for. Damn, she's got a platinum dumpy, dude. The, the body types in this game are really unique. It's just like, oh, I feel God, like I haven't seen on. them in games before. Ooh, God. All right, Aaron. What? <laughs> just giving her like a walkway, like, or like a runway model kind of camera angle. I'm sorry. Who is she? That's all I'm saying. Well, you asked her that. Yeah, Ramella. Who is but like, you? Who <laughs> is she though? Yeah. I need more bugs. I need to find more bugs because they make elixirs, and I want elixirs so that I can be faster and stronger and have elixirs. I want to be harder, better, faster, stronger. Oh, these guys are eating stuff like nobody's business, dog. Oh, they're all getting crazed. I'd actually like to be slower, worse. <laughs> 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 I'd like to be softer, softer worse, worse, slower, slower weaker. <laughs> <laughs> Buy an ore for dirt cheap and then turn it around and sell it at a high price. Oh, hey. <laughs> Them's my bros. So smart. Rupees and marbled rock roast. That's all anyone should need. Wow, he just gave away his whole game. There's like so many people here. Oh, I love this wumpy dumpy dump music. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, Crane, not you too. After all my warnings about the marbled rock roast, you're gonna need a bigger thong, actually, <laughs> starting right now. <laughs> Offrax, oh. one of the kids. So everyone's acting funny because, because the marbled rock roast that President Unobo is mining. 
Oh, those were two different voices. What are you mumbling about over there? <laughs> nice neutral voice, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. I'm sure it's somebody important. Macho Man Randy Savage! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> You gotta eat a marbled rock roast like you eat a good elbow drop. Can, can you know about be a Macho Man voice? Oh yeah. Okay, excellent. There's nothing to worry. Oh, about, never mind. In my opinion. Yeah, but I'm gonna fuck it. Okay, cool. I'm not now stop voice laughing, you rock chompers, and get over here, Goro. <laughs> <laughs> Just explode. <laughs> <laughs> What could you want? Some of your rock roast. Yeah, and um... yeah. Well, if it isn't, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely even noticed you. Oh yeah. You know, but what's the big idea talking like that to our esteemed guest? Huh. Bluto, or should I say, boss? You really don't know your place, do you? Huh. Slurgo, <laughs> tell me, who runs Goron City these days? Oh, you know, Boko. Hey. And Offrak, <laughs> who's in charge of you know, Boko? No. Offrak. <laughs> No, it's here. Here you are. All right. <laughs> you hear that, Bluto? You're not needed around here anymore. Oh yeah. You think I'm just gonna sit here and shake oh. to the point where I give myself a concussion by my brain rattling around in my skull? <laughs> so, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Princess Zelda, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, and you're wondering about any strange goings on. The lovely Zelda Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Princess Zelda, I heard she got missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? Fuck! That's a lot of missing! I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of her. Take it easy, Bluto. You're like 107. <laughs> Fox, does that mean hair? A oh, lady with the hair like that, she's the same what President Udobo talks to about marbled rock roast. Oh. You shut your fucking trap. <laughs> You'll keep your trap shut. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> nice. Way to go. Way to go. If you know what's good for you, yeah. As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace. And we can't help with Princess Zelda. So you'd better shove off, yeah. <laughs> I've got to go get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting, yeah? Who's her? You know, Bo, I swear to God, if you bring any more of that stuff, I'll fucking kill you! Oh, <laughs> did he throw out his back? Yeah. Ah, my trick back! <laughs> Stodgy old guy, sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slurgo, off rack. Time to head back to Yanobo Co HQ. Me and my loyal army of babies are gonna <laughs> run this town. It's so weird. It's so weird. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, God, my back is killing me. Many of the Gorons in Goron City or you know, a blonde woman seem to be involved with the new- Oh yeah, it's like evil Zelda now. The only thing that could help me is a kiss on my big pillowy lips. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> big kiss. Hey, what's up? Oh, you haven't eaten the marbled rock roast. Cuff heck, wheeze! Yeah, it's all smoky because of that fucking marbled rock roast! Whoa! Maybe I wouldn't mind so much if I could enjoy it, but these teeth of mine can't handle that crunch. <laughs> what is this, a fucking cinnamon toast crunch I was commercial? just gonna say. <laughs> Adults just don't get it. They can't, they don't have the teeth for these rock hard crunch. Yeah, only kids understand the power of flavor crystals. And by flavor <laughs> crystals, I mean huge chunks of glucose. <laughs> we don't see many strangers around here. What's up, I'm Trey. I gotta tell you, if marbled rock roast is popular among the kids, well, so be it. But they're losing their heads over it. Tricking travelers into forking over rupees and drop of work for more of them rocks. Is this like a... Is this like a drug allegory? I, I mean, I think it is. Goron City used to be such a nice place. We elders can't eat marbled rock roast, so we're stuck, stuck watching things fall apart. Excuse my jabbering. 
On the plus side, the marbled rock roast here is 91% pure. <laughs> That's why it's glowing red. <laughs> so you stay in here? Usually it's very cloudy. A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. If you want to throw in a Goron massage, that'll run you 50 rupees. I don't like the smile I'm giving right now. <laughs> if you want to try the massage. massage. Just like neck starts extending out towards you. <laughs> New to the art of Goron massage, are you? That's okay. First time for everything, as they say. A Goron style massage is done on top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze all the tension out. That's right. Doesn't hurt one bit. Mostly, I tell you, I even doze off sometimes. Afterwards, you'll sleep like a rock and feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. All right, I'll get a bed and a massage. But the full-on weird rock man rub and tug thing I'm pushing <laughs> on you, that's gonna be 50. And please, take it easy till morning. Our hands are very calloused. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, his hands are just like, poosh, poosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that what it's supposed to be? The scream? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. And then I slept like a baby. Mostly because I was beaten into unconsciousness by the large rock hands mashing me about my groin and face. Oh, that's what I Whoa. thought it would do. Good morning. Hope the massage was nice. Best of luck out there. It wasn't. You're my boyfriend now. <laughs> Hope the massage was nice. Let me know where you're going today. I'll come with. <laughs> Great, I'll join you. That Bluto. Sell him for high and buy him for low, I always say. That's how it should be. Customer, don't you go listening on me now. Bluto Colt told me to keep prices as they are, so I can't rip anyone off. Uh, what did I tell you? Quit nosing in on me. Buy my stuff. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Man, nothing I have is worth jack dick. Stop talking. Buy my stuff. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna sell these meaty rice balls. These <laughs> things are fucking meaty as hell, dude. <laughs> making me uh, Making me <laughs> Wow, these meaty rice balls are del meaty Meaty rice balls? I can't even <laughs> freaking say it. All I want now is rock roast, huh? Hmm. I don't want sapphire. Uh, no, you don't want sap. <laughs> you don't want sapphire. It's all about rock roast these days. Yo. You're so right. I don't want sapphire. Fuck you. Nice. All right. So am I just headed to the this spot? Oh yeah. So I am. Okay. Nice. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. go, 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 go. Wow, that lizard was like. Ah, no, no. <laughs> that's just like the ones in my driveway. Oh yeah, that's that's the ones that growing up when I was biking around. Yeah. Oh, uh, I yeah. I remember you telling me about them. How they wait till the last minute. Hey, you don't go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I I do find them so cute because they'll, they'll sunbathe on like the little cement block outside my house, and. uh I'll walk near him because you you know it's cool to see a lizard. You want to take a closer look, and like when you get within like four steps of them, they'll start to have a reaction. Like maybe their head will cock to the side, like, hmm? <laughs> and then like you take one more step, and there's nothing. They're in like their freeze mode, and then one more step, and they're like, bye. <laughs> it's like it's just got like they vaporize into thin air. <laughs> yeah, you just find something to hide under. I love them. Hello, who's this? Huh? Mangsha. Hey. hey. You here to work with Yonoboko too? If you are, <laughs> you'll want to head to Yonoboko headquarters over there and they'll give you an interview. It's so funny that all the other construction workers are like these weird, like, disgusting rock monsters with red eyes, and this guy's like the, the hot buff construction yeah. worker from the village people. Hey, I gotta tell you though, buddy. Oh, you man. I want to bag the whole thing. He's like the- he's like one of the guys from the gay steel mill at, uh, from The Simpsons. Oh, yeah. He's like, Dad, why'd you take me to a gay steel mill? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everything. We work hard, we play hard. <laughs> Everybody <does that. laughs> It's the best. Everything was dandy until the upheaval, but now, Yonoboko, well, it's President Yonobo himself, really. Aww. He's gone and made a real mess of things with the marbled rock roast. Well, all right. Thanks for the info. He's the one responsible. Oh yeah. Okay, got it. He's a he's a real bad guy. <laughs> Those are bad guys. 
pretty sure someone said you could get to the end of the track if you get this minecart. But how do you make it move? I bet the ancient city of Garondia is over there. <laughs> Who lives there? Mujo? Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey! Who are you, guy? Me? I'm not doing nothing. Well, if you're wondering, Garondia is the legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. <laughs> Garondia is the ancient home of the Zora. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there's an amazing treasure stored there, too. They had even more advanced technology than we do now. And I heard they used to ride in strange vehicles. A Dodge Dart. I wanted to use this minecart to search for the treasure, but I can't get it to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone all my secrets, okay? Or I'll fucking kill ya. Yeah, I mean, like, well, then don't sit there talking to yourself like a like a goon. Uh. Guy, <laughs> that's my cart. I'm suing. Well, you you should never stand downhill of someone who can turn themselves into a bowling ball at any moment. That's right. Mm. Please don't take it away. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you want me to move it on this one? <laughs> Side mission two. Kill Dugby. <laughs> Take cart. Kill the child. <laughs> I just know Garoni is down the tracks. There are monsters around. How am I supposed to get out of the minecart going? I don't know. Why don't you ask someone who can move shit with his mind? <laughs> huh? When did you fix it? I was looking right at it! How did you know I wanted it fixed? It doesn't matter. I'm saved. Okay, here I go! Weep! <laughs> yeah, you don't move any of the rocks on the track off? <laughs> Garondia, here I come! Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we Garondying? I want to go to the end of that minecart track. Garondia's gotta be over there. I can feel it. Alright, let's fucking go. Um. Oh, do you want me to attach a fucking fan to it or something? <laughs> well, I don't have that. I have a rocket. That sounds fun. Perfect. I love it. Let's, uh, let's attach a fucking rocket to this shit. And done. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> that actually is good. Oh! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're well, still going fast. Well, yeah, you're doing very well. Actually, knocking the rocket off really helped. Uh, I feel like when it was on, it was you were about to like blast off the side. Well, it exploded. Uh. <laughs> and it exploded. I can see you, Nobo Co. HQ. That must mean I've made it to the other end of the track. Nice. Are they playing the Groose theme? I think so. Since I've made it down the tracks, all I've got to do now is look for Garondia. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. guy. <laughs> guy. <laughs> Fucking! How come you're still here? That was a close one. He almost heard that I'm looking for Garonia. Oh, 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 you probably want a reward, huh? Nice. There's a fucking <laughs> quarter. I'm gonna find treasure that's worth so much more than that. I'm gonna be rich! Once I'm rich, I'll hire you, guy. But you are going- well, alright. <laughs> <laughs> See ya! The ancient city Garondia, complete. And now, to install a- Safety message for the cart. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your hands inside the cart at all times on our way to Garondia, period. Thank you so much. Señoras el caballeros, por favor, batenia sus manos dentro del automóvil te todo momento. En nuestro camino parador aquí, eh, muchas gracias. Con las manos, brazos, dias y piernas. <laughs> I, I know you know how to do it. <laughs> I wanted I wanted to feel what it was like to know that glory for a second. Well, you have to fucking live the life of listening to it every, like a thousand times every day. Yeah. The only problem was I screwed myself up using the translator app on my phone because I'm so used to like doing voice dictation on the text that I said period uh, to end the sentence. But it like... It just took period. Yeah, so it was like perioda. I'm like, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta not say that one. <laughs> Fucking fire armor. I feel like that's so lame. Oh, oh. I don't believe we've met before. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, it's gonna take are, a day to recover from <laughs> seeing you, baby. Are you a new worker here? Please tell me you are. Because I'll flex my pecs and punch you in the face from here. 
Ah, good. You have no idea how badly you were needed. We have dire staffing shortage at the moment. <laughs> I'll give you a dire staff. All right. <laughs> All the young Gorons are so obsessed with marbled rock roast that they can't be bothered to swing a pickaxe. Mm -hmm. I hope President Unobo will address the issue somehow. But in the meantime, we need all the workers we can get. You got it. I think President Unobo is at Unoboco storage in front of HQ, making a deal for more marbled rock roast. Buy from me. <laughs> I love. I love that. Like <laughs> straight ahead. <laughs> President Unobo is the entrepreneurial genius who founded Unoboco. Okay. He started as a small mining business to boast Goron City's development, but then out of nowhere, he struck it rich. He found drugs. Unoboco has since become the world's leading name in mineral mining, with both Gorons and Hillians on its payroll. Usted sabe por qué desde tu que conviera del nombre du mundo líder en minera mineral. <laughs> I'm done with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure anyone who actually speaks Spanish is like, that's totally wrong. Wow. Good job. Yeah. It all begin. Well. Borf. Ah. Everybody brought us sandwiches. That's me. Oh, man. And these are you. great. All right. Let's. Okay. Just a, like a treasure trove of food has just entered. Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're going to eat like kings after this episode. <laughs> I'll admit, President Unobo has been acting a little off since marbled rock roast first appeared on the scene. <gasps> you mean the president's on drugs? <laughs> But you can't argue with all he's accomplished. The guy made Goron City what it is today. In fact, he did it really fast. Like he was on drugs. Like crazy <laughs> uppers. Hey, not for nothing. But don't be fooled by the cooler temperatures above ground. It's hot, hot, hot out there. It's hot, hot, hot down here. There's still lava inside the caves. You get, a, you get burnt to a crisp if you go there dressed like that. Unless you're dying to know how a baked apple feels, I'd recommend investing in some fire-resistant gear. Like these booty shorts I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the flame breaker armor I sell would be would do would more than do the trick. Oh! And if you don't have enough rupees, don't worry. You can make some quick cash by selling me things you don't need, uh -huh. like your body. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Fucking jump in the air, freeze frame. <laughs> I'll pay your wife one million dollars for a single night with your butt. <laughs> hey, it's you again. <laughs> You've got it! <laughs> one million? I'll do it for ten dollars and a nice meal. The one who knows President Udobo. Ah. He's talking about a marbled rock roast with the blonde lady right now. No one's allowed to come in. Oh. I don't really like that lady. It's definitely the marble rock roast's fault that everyone's acting really funny. Aww. Yeah. President Unobo said he's got that weird mask he's wearing for the lady, too. Oh, they're not old enough to eat marbled rock roast. Oh, wow. They're really, like, taking this allegory far. I don't know. I guess kids can do drugs. I feel babies can do drugs. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. I Like, do we live in an oppressive society <laughs> where babies can't do whatever drugs they want? So true. All right. So true. He was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Aww. Hey, you're friends with President Unobo, aren't you? You know how he created Unoboco for mining? It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, will you convince President Unobo to make Unoboco stop? I wish they'd stop saying Unobo and Unoboco right after each other. Yeah. May stop mining marbled rock roast? I'm kind of busy. Yeah. I'll see if I can ask your drug addict president to <laughs> relinquish all power and drugs. <laughs> Slurgo, did you hear that? My name's Slurgo? Sure did. Maybe he'll get President Unobo to be himself again. Oh, well, hey, it's hot in there. It'd be dangerous if you went in like that. Mm. If you don't have fire-resistant equipment, you should go to HQ to get some. <sighs> bye. Symmetrically, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do I have enough stuff to sell to be able to afford that? It's the armor stuff. Well, you know what? What's up, green bird friend? You are not as fun. I have heat resistant stuff. Six minutes worth. 
I'm, I mean, I, I'm assuming that'd be good enough. Oh, you're burning. Burning alive. Why not just buy the clothes, man? It's just expensive. I don't have money for that. Oh. Oh, whoops. Uh, change my weapons. <laughs> oh. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> oh, wooden baseball bat. Perfect. What's this? Zonet shield. Right. Nice. Okay, I'm stuck in my head now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to buy stuff. I mean, sell stuff. I mean, buy. I mean, sell. I mean, buy and sell. Well, I mean, both will happen. You buy, I'll sell. Buy, sell. Buy, sell. Buy, sell. Buy, sell. Okay, I guess I could sell stuff I have a lot of. Sure. Yeah. But these upgrade my whatever. That's a lot of money. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. How much? Uh. uh say again. <laughs> or for the first time, actually. Uh, how much? Um, does the heat resistance stuff cost? Uh, it's like seven hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have that fucking kind of money. Y you're almost there. I'm working on it. And you're there. I'm working on it. Sell one more piece of ore, dog. Is that my fucking control? Um, let's see. Guess I could sell some meat. Got good meats. Mm, some delicious oh. meat. Yes. <laughs> Hey, not for nothing. Do oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I fucking get it. Thank you. That's interesting that they put something as colloquial as not for nothing. I didn't know that was something people all over the English-speaking world said. Yeah. It, it, it definitely is like a like a Northeast thing. Yes, yes. Not for nothing, but... Yeah. That's like... Remember when I told you my friends and I got um, busted in college for having beer at a party? Um... And then the cops uh, confiscated all the beer, but like th they were kind of like cool because they could tell we were like just dumb. And uh, the Sounds the nice. cop was like, "Hey, not for nothing, kid, but all Miller." <laughs> I was yeah. like, "That's all I can afford, sir." <laughs> <laughs> not for nothing. Yeah, those were fun times. That's how you know you're gonna get some real talk. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, not for nothing. Like, oh, here we go. Yeah. I've told you that story. That's when they brought us in and they fingerprinted me, but like my thumbs were so wide and flat that they like rolled off the ink page. And the guy was like, Billy, get in here. This kid's got like ET thumbs or something. <laughs> that was a, a, an embarrassing day. <laughs> it's got ET thumbs or something. I'll, I, I'll never forget that one. Uh. You know, it's like that mixture of like shame, but also like relief, because like, you know, once they're joking around with you like that, they're not gonna like mess with you too badly. Yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. That's before I had long hair. After that, cops became much less uh, friendly. Because you looked like a a rock star. I well, thank you, Aaron. They didn't feel that way. They equated it more with a uh, criminal. <laughs> What's as far as about I, having long hair, I don't know. I've got long hair. Well, it's it's like that Mitch Hedberg can joke. You criminal me? It's like the, the <laughs> can you incriminal me? Yeah. It's like that Mitch Hedberg joke where he's like, it's a shame that it, like I've got long hair and it's a shame that people equate long hair with drug use. Why can't they equate it with uh, cake eating? <laughs> like they see me and they're just like, hey, that guy likes cake. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker he loves a cake. <laughs> yeah. No, whoa! whoa! Look at that. Oh, a little friend. Ew, I don't like, ugh. <laughs> when it came out of the ground, it just like a, cute, like a cute little fire turtle, but when it actually started walking towards you, you're like, oh, that didn't materialize the way I wanted it yeah. to. I gotta find the rest of the gear. Aaron, you're wasting all your heat resistance. It doesn't matter. In like non-hot places. It doesn't matter. You sure? Yeah, it's, I couldn't, I couldn't use it anyway. Oh, okay. It was way too hot. <laughs> so it didn't even matter. The goggles, they do nothing! <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. I gotta find the helmet and the pants. I got heat resistant outfit right now, but oh. they, he didn't sell the helmet. Or maybe he did and I just didn't see it. Maybe I'm a fucking moron. Maybe oh, that's Aaron, all of... those things can be true. It's so true. Um, bestie? 
Wait, where was it? It was over here. I want to learn how to play a fucking... What is this, a tuba or a trombone? Let me hear, let me hear. Is it a oh, man, of course, we went to the brass free section of the yeah. song. I, 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 it's, it sounds like it's probably a trombone. Because trombones have like the slide. Yeah. And so it, it, it's really good at the. I love watching videos of trombones where like the slide comes off and then they're all like. Duh, blah, duh, and, like that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the end of that story. It is an unwieldy instrument. My grandpa used to play trombone and uh. Really? You know, yeah, he was an he was an amazing trombone player. Remember, I, I've told you he he was a bonist. He was mm, <laughs> he he like the reason he went into the sciences was because he was an amazing trombone player. But um, even at the height of his jazz powers, he would see like all jazz these powers. incredible incredible musicians on the breadline, you know, basically starving. Um, and just trying to get whatever food they could, and he was like, I can't make a living doing this. If if these guys, who are better than I am, can't make a living at music, um, I should do something else. Damn. Yeah, but but that's what he played. He was a trombone player. Trombone. Yeah. But he, he played in- he still- oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I killed the fuck out of that guy. He sure did. Just roasted that bass. Yeah. That's like what Commander Meowch does. <laughs> Just roasted the roasted base. <laughs> do, 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 do. You're like, oh fuck! <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. Uh, I gotta find where they're fucking keeping all the. It, I like. I still, even though I watch it happen, I still can't fully understand how bassists do like the popping, like boom, 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 boom. Like it just, it looks like a magic trick. Yeah. Well, they're like. They're like picking the string up and then like laying it down. Yeah, it's just then smacking it. I mean, I get the, I get the mechanics of it, but I've any time I've tried to do it, it's just not happening for me. Oh, that's right, you play bass. I I I, <laughs> it's a, I play. I'm not good. Um, I'm no peanut from 311. Capital P dash nut. I didn't know that was his name. It's, it's his name. You know, in the, in the in the in the on the album Grassroots when. Nick Hexum's like, Peanut, take the rhyme, one time for mine, what's up? Watch out! And he's like, boop, 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 I haven't listened to that album in a long time. <laughs> you just described like a fucking, like, 311 Shreds video or something. <laughs> like, Come on, play, play the bass! <laughs> there's, there's, there's one thing, there's, there's one song where he's like, Peanut, one time for mine, watch out! I, oh man, what is it? It's from Grassroots, it's good. I love that album. Are you a traveler, no. lured here by the aroma of my cooking, I'd imagine? I hope so. <laughs> I am the ancient, wise, eastern sage, Booter. <laughs> the, <laughs> camp, <laughs> the camp belongs to Captain Torrin's squad of the Monster Control crew. <laughs> what, what is this, a Saturday morning cartoon? <laughs> yeah. They are executing a major strike as we speak. Captain Torin squad of the Monster Control Crew. Monster Control Crew. Hearts like lightning, eyes like thunder. I recommend you clear the area before things get hectic. There they are. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> the Monster Control here, Crew's here. Shit's hectic. The, the cave that serves as the monster's base is up the hill and down the road. <laughs> to grandmother's house we go. But even here we might be in danger. Peter, the Monster Control Crew's here. <laughs> Is Captain Torin with him? <laughs> Captain Torin is on his way there now to clear those monsters out. <laughs> I'm a piece of cauliflower! As the squad's <laughs> chef, I stayed behind. I may not swing a sword, but my ladle prepares meals worthy of this elite team. Hey, Butter, get your head out of the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> Oh no! You knocked your mon- you spilled your monster on your pants. I didn't spill anything. Really? What are you wiping off right now? Monster. <laughs> <laughs> the members of Captain Torrent's squad are skilled, but they get hungry quickly. I'm worried that their hunger may distract them, allowing a monster to catch them unawares. A monster that could grab me and stick me in their ear, using me as a giant Q-tip. How I wish they had someone to aid them should their appetites waylay them. What is your language? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Booter. 
Was that just like nonsense? He's no. talking about caves. Yeah, B basically saying go help them. Okay. Because I can't. I'll go help your friends. I'm just a ladle person. You know what? I'll put it on the adventure log. <laughs> I'm just a ladle adventurer in this world. <laughs> Today's menu. Dude, you need to fucking knock it off. Help! <laughs> <laughs> like, clearly in need of help. Just like, stop! Yeah. Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> I can't breathe! I'm like convulsing stop. on the floor, phobic at the mouth. You're like, get it together! <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> knock it off. We're doing a show. What are you doing? <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Right now? <laughs> Who, me? You just very deliberately, like, stopped talking and looked down at your phone. I'm writing peanut one time for your mind, watch out, to figure <laughs> out what that song that was. Okay. Damn. Got it. Well, I'm curious, too. You know what? I'm curious, too. Oh, that's it. It's from their song, Nut Symptom. When he's... <laughs> Yup. Yup. Cause it, cause it's the peanut song. It's like his chance to shine. Uh with dexterity and goes on and on and on and turn out the dope shit like the one that's called pawn shop. Press yes, it's on. What's up? Peanut change it up. One time for mine. Watch out. <laughs> and then he's like boop 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 boop. <laughs> it's a fun song. All right, all right. Uh, it's time for next time on Game Grumps, Dude, Aaron. I gotta learn how to fucking get a map because I'm sick of not having a map. That's really pissing me off right I'm now. I'm quite sure you can. It's one's available to you at all times. Well, I got no great map. Yeah. I love it. I gotta find the map, dude. It's- it's one of these towers, isn't it? It's like a tower around here somewhere? It is a tower. I gotta find a fucking map, dude. Alright, next time on Game Grumps, then. Map tower time. I don't know where the map tower is. Fantastic. I feel like an idiot. Fuck is wrong with me?